So good morning. I'm down the pot again. Wasn't going to come down today, but I thought I should try and weed the flower beds because it's something that I always leave and put off. I always put priority on the other beds. And considering it's not really wet um, and everything, it's not too big and bushy. It might be a great time to try and take out. I think there's some dead nettle. And there's, I don't know if it's hogweed or something like that. I don't want to rip out all the plants, I just want to selectively pull out stuff that shouldn't be there. So we'll see how far I get. This is the bed that I'm tackling. So we've got stuff like that. I don't know if it's cow parsley or hogweed, but it's got a long tap root, so I need to take that out. There's some dead nettle. Just needs a good tidy up before the winter hits. This is the I just snapped my spade. I know I don't use it a lot on this plot, but it wasn't exactly a tough thing. I was digging on. Let me show you. I was just working on a bit here. I put it into the ground here. Bent back slightly and look at that angle. That shouldn't go like that. So it snapped on this bit. Hmm, not happy. Well, I've given it a go. I've managed to get some of the weeds I wanted out, others I just had to pull the top brace off. So what I have to do is in the springtime when it starts coming back up again, I will have to try and locate the roots of the plants I don't want and dig them up again. I noticed when I was weeding that there were two roses I planted that were just dead. They did not take, they didn't like it. This one here is lovely. And I think there's another one over there, but yeah, two of them. Nah, didn't survive. Oh well. So I've decided to tackle this bed. It had one pumpkin plant in it, and I'll show you the pumpkin in a minute. The sweet corn, which of course is over. Um, patty pan, and some sunflowers. Let us go a little closer. That little pumpkin, which is smaller than my hand, that was, I think, jack o' lantern, and that's the only one the plant produced, so it wasn't happy here. But I will cut it. I need to rip out all this old stuff and all of this and weed it ready for when I get some more manure. So it's now at least a couple of hours later, if not more. And some is of the stuff I've chopped up is in the compost bin and some's in that. But I haven't weeded it all, but all the sweet corn, the patty pan that was going soft because of the uh, low temperatures and I've cut the pumpkin. But oh my, it took forever cutting up all the um, sweet corn stalks. But at least that's done. Next time I can weed that. So earlier it was lovely sunny weather to the point that I was sat there doing the work and was even sweating a bit. But now it's all gray and cloudy now. So the pumpkin that was in that bed was jack-o'-lantern and it says small golden orange fruits uh, normally about 12 centimeters. Great for using for Halloween decorations as well as for eating. Well This is all I got, just one. Needs to ripen a bit more, but I'll take that home. 
so not prolific by any means but we'll see I may consider um, growing it again next year but um, only if I've got the space so what am I going to do now? I'm going to go home because I'm starting to get a blister off on my hand from where I was cutting with the um, pruning shear things, you know, whatever these are called. And I don't want the blister to get any worse. So that's two beds worked on. Uh, would it be nice to have finished off the uh, bed where the jack-o'-lantern was but that's life but yeah it's certainly different weather to what it was this morning so I'm gonna go home have a nice drink and then get on with things in the back garden thanks for watching bye for now so I've just been walking around somewhere called Kainsham it's on the outskirts of uh, Bristol and I went in the bookshop and aside from a lovely book to do with making ice cream because I do have an ice cream maker I found Charles Dow Dowding organic gardening book and it was only £2.49 so I'm going to have a read of that because I subscribe to his YouTube channel so that should be a good read when the weather goes nasty I love finding gardening things in charity shops. What about you? Morning. It's a beautiful sunny morning. Not much cloud in the sky. It's nearly 17 degrees. And it's mid-October. I think the weather's supposed to cool down a bit. Um, latter end of this week and there's supposed to be rain next week, but I'm enjoying it whilst it's here. Some of the summer we didn't even get this. So today I want to clear more beds ready for manure. I haven't arranged to collect it any, any more yet, but I hope to do that before the rain comes. It won't be enough for the whole plot, but I'll be able to do a few more beds. It's just hard work, because I've got to shovel it all, my sister-in-law, can't be doing the shoveling because she had breast cancer a few years ago and lymph, lymph nodes removed so she can't do lots with her arm but still I appreciate the free manure so I better get on with it so along the side by the, of the greenhouse here I've put in four of these cup hooks and hooked this netting onto it just so that I can strim how long it's getting along here because I don't want anything to be kicked up when strimming and to smash the glass there so I will have the netting on whilst I strim and then take it off once I strim this that's why I've left this bit for a little bit because I didn't want to break the glass. But I should be able to get and strim it now. So I've now strimmed that so there's not brambles and nettles in the way. So that looks a lot neater. And you can see all the bits that got kicked up just went into the netting instead of getting the greenhouse dirty. And if I turn around, I've managed to do all the way along and just slightly around the corner at the front before the batteries ran out. So I have had quite a few foxgloves and forget-me-nots in this bed, self-seeded. So I've been moving them to the flower bed at the front and the flower bed by the pond. So I just dig up the plant with a bit of soil around it and then I'll move that over to the pond area. So I just make a little 
call and pop it in. I think there's another one. You can put that in there. And I put that forget me not bit next to it. And then just top up with some soil. And then a bit of bark chickens over. Okay, now I need to water it, but hopefully it might take. So apart from, I think, three um, parsnips and the nasturtiums and sunflowers at the end, the rest of this bed is totally weeded now and cleared of stuff, ready for when I can get some manure on it. So after how long the half sweet corn bed took me to clear and chop up, I'm not sure I'll get this all done today, but uh, I'll give as much as I can a good go. So it's a couple of hours later now. I've been chopping up all the leaves that were on the, uh, the sweet corn stalks and they're in there so it's taken forever but I'm going to do all these stalks um, next time but it has shown as is look what happens when you leave your sweet corn too long that was what I call secondary cobs so uh, you know they weren't very edible but yeah looks like they haven't eaten this one but look all the corn is dried up there so yep next time I need to chop these down well that's me done for today I've weeded that one bed over there and I've cut all the leaves and chopped them up from the sweet corn bed but that'll do I've harvested a little courgette now that's a good size for them not when they go massive so yeah I'm off home I'll go do a bit in the garden and the what I call the bee man has just arrived the guy that deals with the beehives in the field next door so I, obviously if he's checking on the hives he's gonna be smoking them a bit so they'll, they'll kind of they'll want to fly away and I don't want them to fly around here because they have a tendency to kind of flee over to here I'm not kind of totally afraid of bees but I've been stung a few times so I'd, I love what they do on the plot, I just don't like being around them. So yeah, I'm going to be off home now. Bye for now, thanks for watching.